might want to stick with that. What did I like before? I think I like the uh, color burns too dark. Multiply was okay. Maybe we'll stick with multiply. Top of this. Um, I'm going to use this for shadows and highlights. And we'll take a dark brush. Uh, go to my brush. Um, I want soft edges. Um, bigger. I'll just darken this. Um, I'm going to change the mode here. This is good for soft light. Um, I don't want to do that with the piece of what happened here. Uh, bring the flow down. And we'll just darken, darken this around the edges a little bit. start. What I'll do here is I'll work on some more of these shadows in here. Give them a little bit more um, depth um, where I want them to have it. I'll define this a little bit more. Um, hmm. Flow is good, okay. Take this from here. This. Just kind of like almost restructuring the head by doing this a little bit. You can see just by adding some, some little shadows here and there. Gives it a little bit more depth in some areas. While keeping keeping it in soft light or overlay or, or some of the other blending options, it leaves all your detail in there. Even though I'm painting on top of it, it's um stays pretty good. And this is just some big shading areas. I'm actually going to make the brush a little smaller and come into some areas a little bit more. Um, his chin seems a little dark, so maybe we'll work on lightening that up a little bit. Uh, I almost want it to match the upper part a little bit better. Um, okay, one other habit to get into is using your eyedropper tool with the Alt key so you don't have to keep bouncing here for different shades um, and just picking right off your palette. I'm going to make this smaller a little bit. I'm going to come in here and, and maybe define some of, the, some of the shadow spots in here. That's not dark enough. I'll take a darker one. Here we go. Come like this. And all I'm really doing is I'm trying to um, define the depth in this creature's face a little bit more. Up here like this. Here we go. Add some a little bit more contrast between the light and shadows. Okay. same on this side, maybe make it a little smaller. Um, I don't know many of the keyboard shortcuts, but this, the few I do know, like using the brackets to make the brush bigger and smaller on the fly, is um, that's definitely an essential one to know. Uh, come around here, 
really start getting into some of these smaller details. <laughs> it's it's funny I uh, you know I get lost in the picture and I forget that I'm making a video here and um, if I don't continually talk I imagine it can get really boring really fast so uh, I'm gonna try to keep the conversation going explain what I'm doing here I really just adding some depth in here. The darker it goes, the more it appears to be pushed back into the face. So I'm just kind of sketching in a little bit more shading on some areas that I already have. Um, just to help bring out some of the details here. Another trick for some of these finer ones, um, a nice little time saver I do once in a while is I'll make a copy of this just because I like to keep an original. I'll make that invisible so I know it's my original. Um, come in here and use the dodge and burn. Um, we can use the burn here. We'll bring the exposure up. Um, burn shadows. We'll make the brush a bit bigger. And uh, by coming in here, hey, you see? See what that's doing? Bringing out a lot of those, a lot of those shadows I had built in there. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It, uh, I like the fact that it's starting to um, sharpen up this image a bit. Um, it's a nice little shortcut uh, if you're into it. mouth area here. Really give that some definition. Work on some of these scales down here. Add some crack crack depth into his face. Make it look a little bit more scaly. Um, the end texture I want to start using on this is maybe like a rhinoceros skin or an elephant skin kind of texture. I want to keep it gray and and bony looking. This is going to be tighter bony area up here. Um, don't know how I'm going to match up the middle yet. I probably should work on that, but um, I'll see how it shapes up. Um, so yeah, once we get some of these other details popping through here, uh, maybe up here too, I'm purposely trying to stay out of these highlighted areas up here because I, I, I want that detail to fade. Um, it helps make the surface look a little shinier. Um, and this is all personal preference. I mean, I'm sure many of you out there have your own style or way you like things to look. Um, and even to lighten up some stuff, I'll switch over to Dodge, and we'll go to Highlights, and we'll brighten some of these up a bit. You know, this is for the template area, so I do want to um, work on that a little bit, bring out some of these bumps that look like they've gotten a little darker than I really want them to. some more curvature to this creature's skull. Uh, there we go. Come in here and work this a little bit. Give them some more kind of bony structures in and around here. actually be playing some music, but, oh great, the telephone. Um, 